Hey guys, the buy list continues to fall. Now we're looking at the 95 New York Comic Con buy list. I will say that Card Kingdom dropped their Black Lotus from, I think it was 15,000. I'm talking about the unlimited near mint from 15,000 to 14,000 to 13,000 to 12,000 to now 11,000. So we're going to take a look at that later. Um, Underground C is doing well, but again, the question is how many near mint Underground Cs do you actually have? You can see a lot of the cards are from various sets. I mean, they're just kind of all over the place. Uh, this is the highest buy list I've seen for these cards, and they're still kind of low. Uh, the idea is very simple. If you have an Underground C or you have a, a card, you can then go sell it and they can look at your other binders and they can kind of lowball you on the other stuff. So that's how a hot list works. Um, hopefully you guys know that. And in terms of uh, what they're buying, they are buying, uh, so everything's near mint, that's the key. Uh, they're buying Magic, Pokemon, and Locana. Hmm. They're not buying Flesh and Blood and they're not buying Meta Zoo. So I'm not familiar with the, uh, Meta Zoo, yeah. I'm not familiar with this store, but uh, I think they specialize mostly in magic is what I'm assuming. The buy list is collapsing as we speak. I would not be shocked if the Black Lotus buy list was under $10,000, which is a really critical number. That is a back-breaking number. Um, the buy list, every time I look at it, it goes down You know, for Underground Sea, another $20, another $30, and... There does not seem to be a bottom. We have not hit bottom yet, as I predicted before. Um, I think the cards will crash a lot more. I think there's at least another 30%, 40% to give. Uh, now, does it hit that? No, but I'm pretty confident it loses another 20%. So I'm pretty sure that Underground C will hit 400 buy list on Card Kingdom. Uh, Volcanic Island will probably hit 300-ish and, and so on. Um, I'm not confident in the future of Magic the Gathering, and neither is Tro and Toad, as they have kind of completely, completely pulled out of Magic the Gathering. Uh, neither is Card Kingdom, as, like I said, the Black Lotus. I've never seen it buy list this cheap in the past five years. Yeah. Uh, I am not in the market to buy no more Black Lotuses. I can tell you that. I'm not in the market to buy any Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, when you look at the portfolio of Pokemon cards, you can see there it's 11,000. But when you look at Pokemon cards, and that's near mint. The, the way that they get you is very few cards of that age are actually near mint. Um, even cards fresh out of the pack are often not near mint. And therefore, they're going to you know hit you with a 20% you know LP premium or unpre it's not premium downgrade and that's how they get prices uh, at the conventions how they do it is they have a few hot cards and when you go sell your heart card they're like oh do you want us to take a look at your binder and we'll make a few offers and then they lowball you to oblivion on everything so it basically evens out you're not getting a good deal from a lot of places or hot list um, and that's been my previous experience with it is that they are using it to attract you to their booth instead of somebody else's booth. And they are going to then fleece you for quite a bit of money. So again, one of the things I want to make sure that you guys understand is Magic the Gathering cards are going down in price. Uh, doesn't matter if it's a reserve list. Doesn't matter if it's a booster box. Doesn't matter if it's sealed. Uh, they're just collapsing. It doesn't matter if it's modern or sta God forbid standard. Um, they're just collapsing right now, so it's a great time to buy the cards you need. That being said, you know, Savannah 170 is pretty cheap, in my personal opinion. Um, and, and again, uh, it is a big risk, because there could be a scenario, I think very unlikely, that the card market recovers in three, four, five years. But I think overall, Library of Alexandria 8400... It is a seller's market, and we're going. I'm personally, my strategy is I'm just going to hold on for their life and uh, maybe sell some. 
but I'm, I'm definitely taking a major L, and so is anyone in this marketplace. The cards have already gone down 40-50%, and to say that they have another 40% to go is pretty scary. Uh, but that's the reality we live in today. Um, there's no other buy list. I mean, again, many stores, not just Tro and Toad, many, many stores are completely pulling their buy list away. They don't want anything to do with Magic the Gathering right now. Same with sealed boxes. Uh, the Dave and Adam sealed box list, I can pull it up for you. But it's even more of a bloodbath than this. This is a bloodbath. And I don't think it's over yet. I think there's still a lot of blood. To sh Wizards of the Coast has done a horrific job uh, in terms of making Magic cards collectible and valuable. Uh, and they will continue to tank the price on these cards. And uh, I think that there might be an opportunity, but it also might all go down to, you know, hundreds of, you know, instead of uh, Tiger 185, I could see Tiger sub 100 on a buy list on Card Kingdom. And I could see many, many stores not, uh, not again, they don't want anything to do with Magic the Gathering. Just like Tro and Toad. They simply said no more, no more sealed, no more singles, no more collector's editions no more we cannot make money from this game and because we cannot make money from this game we're just going to call it adios and we're just going to leave so it sucks but be very careful with your money um these cards are going to still get cheaper i promise you there'll be another video in a month or two weeks and the next time we look at these cards, they will be even cheaper than what I think is already very, very low pricing on the cards. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.